it's not that easy to recreate Vicky's dresses because it is always very expensive the materials used are always very many and it is not easy f- to just do it for a tutorial just like that that is why i brought this documentary for you it is just to analyze how they created this design so you can learn and do it on your own i'm going to make it as easy and simple as possible for you to understand but then this tutorial is a master class it is not for beginners because vicky james designs are not always for beginners truth is you cannot be creating vicky james designs if you are a beginner you have to know the basics my name is winifred and you're welcome to my channel so without too much talking let's get to the honey of this video let's go i love you hey beauty welcome to my channel this is a structured design so you need a lot of bones i always say that it's bone that give you the structure so you need a lot of bones you need your mesh a lot of net i wouldn't know the amount of nets that they used because i've not you know i'm not sewing it so just buy a bundle so by the time you are done using it then the, you will know the amount of mesh that you you'll be using then you need a um, skin tone crepe then you also need to open your creative mind and that is it then we can now get started let's start analyzing the dress please at the back of your mind that this, the dress has three parts the upper bodies the skirt part which is straight and the flare side so the the upper body is the baseline is a conical corset you first need to make your conical corset and then you case your boning multiple boning you case it and then you use your fabric pencil to draw out the lines on the front part and start placing your bone on it to make sure that the boning um channels that you created that you wrapped with your black fabric is very long enough to get to the back but start working from the front start working from the front so that by the time you get to the back you'll be able to determine where you want to tack, tack it at the back and then the flay on the down part were cut like cones you remember the conical flare um that we usually do that we put um color stay and that's the way you do it and then you join everything together you first cut out the cones after cutting out the cones you're going to place your bone lines the black bone lines on it like I think it was up to five or six before you now attach it to the dress you you gather it and attach it to the dress that is what it is here and then the waist part at the v signature the v vicky james signature because it's meant to contour the body you know it's meant to give the body to shaping the waist side to make it thinner and give it that contouring so that as you can see there there's a v basque waistline there and then you also need to after that you also need to do the back corsetting this is a strapless strapless conical corset it does not have a yoke at all and so the back is just a normal corset you do your corset or your eyelid and everything make sure that after join after making the middle part which is the straight skirt part you use your fabric pencil to draw out how you want your lines to be how you want your lines to be before placing your you know the fabric that you've cased with your bone before placing it on it and just forming the circle as you can see anytime you are making a dress you cannot just be you know cutting it from your head you have to play pay close attention to the detailing because that is what is going to make your work 
perfect you know you have to carefully count the lines where the semicircle is at, at, at the hip area where the V is the inverted V that is below the you know that is below the semicircle that is close to the to the gathered down part and then that is it and you do the same to the back so this dress you cannot sew it without fitting it on your fabric because once you are done with all of this you know fixing the boning the lines and everything the front you will not yet attach it to the back you have to do that on your client you will see this in the video soon where when um Osasi Godaro came for fit went in for fitting not came she didn't come to my shop she went to Vicky James so when she went for fitting they actually you know placed the the front boning they now took it to the back on her body they determined how high they wanted it to be and where they wanted to place it so you just have to be creative this style is very very easy to make and don't forget when you are making your conical corset you know you made it with your mesh you have to double your mesh right just the same way we do um mesh corsets then every other thing the baseline of this dress was made with mesh everything was made with mesh then those bony channels are the real work you have to kiss the bones kiss long bones that you'll be able to work with and cut out later make sure that the edges of the bones are meeting with the edges of the part that you are going to sew inside so that it doesn't so that the rough parts does not show and one thing that you will know vicky james for is detailing see the fitting alone it was already perfect and then you can see her arranging the bony structures to, to Osa's back you have to be detailed make your work neat don't just do it anyhow you saw the way she was using fabric pencil to draw lines do that carefully cut your fabric carefully sew it and pay attention to details it's details that will make your work you know classy and need so pay attention to details make sure that everything is neat and you know nice look at the lines at the sides it's not getting to the side it's just at the front and it's sitting on that v in the middle so i guess i've been able to help in analyzing this dress this dress was really really beautiful it really blew my mind I'm thinking of doing at least some parts of this design maybe one or two of these boning strands on the end on one of my dresses and I'm going to film it for you guys if you also want a tutorial on how to make a conical corset it, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be glad to film a tutorial for you guys and for the pricing don't fall for it collect your millions <laughs> I saw a cost a tailor on social media that was telling her clients that she will sew this tie for 50k jesus can you imagine some tailors share something that vicky james sold for millions you you want to sew it for 50k <laughs> please know your pricing please and please price well in case you want to make this dress so that you don't you know fall sick or faint when you are making this dress pity yourself please thank you guys for watching i hope this video was insightful i hope it was helpful and it helped you to open your mind to some of the simple things on this dress and how to recreate your own design thank you for staying tuned if you are not yet subscribed subscribe like my videos share with your family and friends Till I see you in the next one. I love you and I care. Bye. Papa.